Well, hello there, guys. We're back with another room tour in Las Vegas. Today, I'm back at the Flamingo, or I should say, tonight, I'm gonna be showing you room 9040. It's a bunk bed room with two queens and two bunks. But before we get in, I'll tell you one little secret. This room is located conveniently next to the ice and vending machine. So you have ice and soda. Right at your fingertips. Let, let me take you inside. Show you what the room looks like. Pardon those uh, jackasses in the hallway. Oh, did I just say that? I'm sorry. Pardon them in the hallway. That was rude of me to say. But pardon them. I shouldn't be doing that. So as you come into the left, you have your um, standard closet here with drawers so you can hold your stuff, like your clothing, anything you could possibly want to put in the drawers. You've got some coat hangers, an ironing board that may have seen better days, a luggage rack, and an iron itself. Nothing up here on top, of course. On the door, as you walk in, you have your two latches, which are standard. A sign asking you to help protect our planet and conserve water. No, thank you. Um, and your usual in the event of emergency, telling you about the cleaning fee, and usually it will tell you what the maximum rate for the room is, but that does not. Um, one thing I can tell you as you walk in the room, you can tell the room's a little bit worn, I guess because a lot of partiers get this kind of room and put things and stick them to the wall, like 21st birthday and all that, and it kind of messes with the paint on the walls. So pardon that. Um, next, I want to take you into the bathroom here. Here's the bathroom. You have a sink your backlit mirror, which is beautiful, a facial mirror, your light switch, your hand wash and lotion on the wall, you have tissues, body soap, a hair dryer, toilet paper, extra, some tissues, your roll of toilet paper on the roll, your toilet, self-explanatory. <laughs> Um, you have bath towels, hand towels, face towels, and a bath mat. You also have your sliding curtain, as this is a half wall, it's not a fully closing shower, and some people might not like that, but that's just how the flamingos renovated rooms are. You also, on the wall, sorry about that, have body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, and pumps. Not all Vegas properties have that, but these do. And as you can see, the thing's a little worn. There's a little rust, I think, at the bottom. But that's just because people use this room a lot. You have a shower head, um, a shower knob. Here's a place to put your soap. And you have a bar soap. Here's a rope rack, but no robes in this room. Um, let me take you back out towards the living area. And as you can see, the little nicks and stuff. As I said, this room is pretty worn compared to the last one I had, the premium room. It's a little bit different. So the first thing that comes with this room is this wet vanity. So it's got a sink, so you can wash your hands, your face right here, your backlit mirror. It does not come with the wallet and the plugs and stuff, but it does come with these little toiletries right there if you need them. Separate from the ones plugged on the wall or pumped in the wall. More tissues if you need them. You've got a trash bucket. Two trash buckets, little ones. You can see my In-N-Out burger in there. Um, the next part of the room is the living space. You have a painting. And the flamingo right there. You've seen this in probably some of the other flamingo rooms, but it's pretty nice and cute. You've got your one phone. This is the only phone in this room. Let's see. 
Uh, it's either a 55 or 65 inch TV. I want to say 65, but I could be wrong on that. So please pardon me if I am. You have extra empty storage here. Down below, you have your safe. There's no money in it. I promise. I checked when I came in. If there was, we'd be going to town. Um, there's the fridge. This room does have a mini fridge. Um, keep in mind that some of the flamingo, the rooms that are not flamingo rooms, the go rooms and the fab rooms that are not considered suites, um, they've taken out the fridges of those rooms. And you may have to pay an extra fee to have one. But they should be able to switch you to one that does, especially if you're a diamond or above. As far as I'm aware. Um, you have a Las Vegas magazine. Sorry if the camera is out of focus right now. Uh, you have the Caesar Rewards cups. Your ice bucket. Coffee maker. Delicious coffee maker. There you go. Some coffee. I won't use it. You have a lamp here. One of few. Two flamingo paintings. You probably saw them in the premium room. But like I said, they're warm. So. Uh, you have your L-shaped sofa. So that can seat some kids. That can actually sleep another person if you wanted it to. You have the little circle footrest at the front there and side. You have your remote, your coffee table. So that magazine should be on the coffee table. More respectfully, you do have a chair with your vanity area here. And you have this separation piece. It's like a buffet between buffet table. Now keep in mind these drawers do open so you can store stuff in them. You can put more clothes in here if you want. So that's another cool thing about that. You also have another lamp fixture. A little bit different than the one I showed you before. And the main part of this room that makes it the bunk bedroom, it's the two full-size bunks on top of the two queen-size beds. Now, just a heads up with these beds, um, they're lower to the ground. So the other flamingo beds are on a higher platform, higher, elevated higher. These beds are directly off the ground, a little bit different directly off the ground. So you're getting in a lower thing. So it may be harder for you to sleep if you can't sleep due to your heart or something. If you have certain issues, this may not be a type of frame to sleep on. You might want to sleep up top if you can get up there. Now those are two full-size bunks up here. Now at the link, they have a similar type of room, but it's a twin size bunk, not the full size. Now, when I came in the room, I did notice that this is missing the table. I think there's supposed to be a nightstand here with connect with um, USB ports. And these lights were not functioning. So I had the bulbs changed. So they're working now. Um, another thing to note was look at this under the bed. Under each bed, you have that cool little design that you get to stare at, which I think is clever and wonderful. I think it makes the room so, so very unique, this bunk bedroom. I'm just gonna give you a little circle around so you can see that. You have your temperature controls here so you can keep the room as cold or as warm as you like. I like it very cold. I turn that down because when I go to sleep, I like it cold. Because the colder is better for the anxiety, if you get it. So here's this. Lovely. Lovely. The one thing I did want to mention, another thing that the room is warm, warm, I should say, here. This is warm. So there should be a artwork 
wallpapered on here, but it's not because it peeled off. And before we finish up this tour of the bunk bed room, two queens, two bunks, let me show you the view of this one. It's basically got an obstructed view featuring the Cromwell, Bally's Resort Tower, a Bally's Jubilee and Resort Tower, which is to the left, Resort Jubilee straight ahead, and the Powys. Bonjour. <laughs> but you barely get any strip view out here, and then there's a police car down there. Don't know why. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tour. This is the Two Queens two bunks bedroom at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. And yes, this is a non-smoking room. Stay tuned for the next tour at Planet Hollywood.